Okay, we're just waiting a little bit more for the rest of the class to join. Okay, Nick. Perfect. And how are you today? How was the traffic? How was the rain? I know it's been raining in a few cities and few departments. So I hope everything was fine. Yes, like, I'm sorry, but I eat him. <laughs> okay. I am eating good. Okay. Enjoy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you had a very nice weekend. I hope you finished the platform. We are going to check into that one later on because there are a few that are still missing some parts. But anyways, I want to uh, just remember you that to today, tomorrow during the day is the last time, the last chance to finish the platform. So we're going to check into that. Uh, also, I'm still checking if we're going to do the the survey. The, oh, okay, it's going to be tomorrow. Okay, so the survey for Insaforp is going to be tomorrow. Everybody remember that we are going to do that together, okay, here during the class. And well, we are going to check the attendance as we usually do. So let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Hi, teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Good evening, I'm here. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ávalos Girón. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Yes, yes, yes. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sorry, here. Okay, good. Eh, Sandra Janira Gómez Romero. Present, teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Good, perfect. 
Okay, before actually we go to the class, let me tell you uh, who are still missing. So for example, uh, Ida, Isabel, uh, you still need to finish. Tenemos que terminar la plataforma mañana durante el día. Recordemos que a la medianoche que terminemos las clases, después de la medianoche se cierra la plataforma y ya nadie tiene acceso. Entonces, es very important si alguno pues lo menciona acá que terminemos. Que terminemos la plataforma mañana a más tardar durante el día. So, it's very important. Eh, Ana, Verónica, you are fine. That's good. Eh, a Blanca Isabel le falta el final y parte del meet and test. A Eric Reyes le faltan varias cosas. A ver, Ernesto, you are fine. Very good. Uh, let's see. Ingrid Paola también le faltan varias cosillas. Jennifer Esmeralda también le faltan algunas cosas. Jonathan Figueroa también le faltan algunas cosas ahí en la plataforma. José Alfredo, estamos en paz. Very good. Juan Roberto, también. Very good. Carla Alejandra, también. Good. María Julia Ramos, también. Estamos en paz. Mauricio Rivera, también. Mónica Wendy, también estamos en paz. Oscar René Molina, también. Very good. Déjenme ver, sí. José sea, Figueroa, también. Eh, a ver, a ver, ¿quién más? Eh, Ramiro, Rafael, también, estamos en paz. Roberto Carlos, si le faltan algunas cosas ahí en la plataforma. Eh, Sandra, también estamos en paz. Silvia, Patricia, Aceituno, también le faltan algunas cosillas. Verónica, Elizabeth, también le faltan varias cosas. Y a Víctor Eduardo. Entonces, hay que, solo tenemos el día de mañana. Por eso les decía que fin de semana era vital para terminar entonces no es tan complicado hello I have a question tell me mm, no but in Spanish because I don't, I don't know how to say ok eh, lo que sucede es que bah, yo lo he hecho pero fíjese que o sea, se me repite es como que volviera a hacer los mismos ejercicios y no no es que o sea quizás no le agarre como que como que la onda a la plataforma ok ajá porque sí. siento que, se, que lo vuelvo a hacer y me sale otra vez que lo vuelva a hacer. O sea, uh -huh. y ahí es donde me he ido atrasando, la verdad. Eh, una pregunta, ¿usted lo hace en la aplicación o lo hace online? En el sitio web. ¿Cómo? cómo? En el sitio, en el sitio lo hago porque no, no, lo, no lo he descargado. Uh -huh. Vaya. Pero si fue ¿Es posible que me envíe por fin el link para descargarlo y ver ahí, llevar más detallado? Porque sí, a veces lo, lo he hecho, ¿verdad? Pero me, me vuelvo a meter, por ejemplo, y, y me sale ahí como que lo vuelva a hacer. Ok. No sé bien. ¿Y qué, qué browser utiliza para hacerlo? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué browser? O sea, utiliza Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox... El Chrome. Uh -huh. Fíjese que ahí, bueno, quizás una de las cosas que les recomiendo a todos, ¿verdad? Porque cosas sí hay que reportar lo antes posible para que el departamento el técnico lo vea. Eh, yo lo voy a poner por acá, pero si usted también lo puede reportar, es mejor porque así se revisa. Eh, una de las cosas que nos puede ayudar eh, en estas situaciones es borrar cookies. Borrar cookies y el historial y luego volverlo a hacer. Son detalles a veces que tienen las eh, ahorita la voy a reportar. Ok, thank you. Ok, I have, a, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, eh, go, go ahead, Roberto. Ok, thank you. And uh, in my case, is uh, I don't identify if if for unit and or, or the methodology because I open the platform and uh, in automatic open uh, the exercise. Uh, but I, I don't uh, inside in the platform uh, last day uh, because I have another thing, but uh, I wait to tomorrow uh, and all. But not this clear if, 
uh, is work for unit or or what happened? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, on the navigation, if you go to course, you will be able to, to see the units. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes depending on the view or depending on the on the way that you have that might be changing. But the only thing that you need to do is to go here, for example, unit two, and then uh, you will be able to see the exercises. So you just complete the exercises and at the end, it says uh, submit. And then you move to the other ones. Also remember, I mean, this is for the unit two, for example, but also remember that uh, we have to do the midterm test that is here at the end of the unit two and also the final exam. Uh, on the final exam and the midterm tests, we have four parts, okay? So you finish the first part and then you need to move to the second part and then the third part and the fourth part. And whenever you finish, you will be able to see everything that is completed. So um, let's give it a try tomorrow, okay? Si alguien tiene alguna, algún problema en la plataforma, hay que repetirlo. Me dicen a mí o le dicen directamente al Departamento Técnico de Inglés Corporativo para que les pueda echar la mano. Lo único malo es de que ya solo tenemos mañana para finalizarlo. Recordemos de que sí, eh, para, para pasar al siguiente módulo tenemos que tener completado la plataforma el 80% al menos. Entonces, hay algunos que sí les faltan varias cosas. Entonces, no está difícil, pero de repente puede haber algún error que no deje pasar o por el estilo. Tratemos de avanzar, tratemos de, um, de hacerlo ¿verdad? lo antes posible. Si se puede ahora, pues, ahorita en la clase, mientras estamos en la clase, ahí si tienen errores, alguna cosa, me van diciendo y la vamos viendo. En la clase hemos visto también algunas, algunas situaciones, ¿verdad? De que a veces no se pone de una manera o no se pone de otra. Entonces, más que todo, cuando se tiene que digitar toda la oración o parte de la oración, un símbolo o un espacio hace que, que no tengamos bueno el ejercicio. Entonces, no nos da los puntos. Eh, igual no es tan complicado, no es tan difícil. La mayoría son de, de multiple choice, solo de escoger. ¿verdad? Pero, pues, sí, les recomiendo que nos pongamos las pilas entre hoy y mañana los que les falta para que pues al final podamos avanzar el siguiente módulo y nos podamos I, I, I have a question. Uh, yeah. Uh, how, how many uh, intents we have for for resolve the any exercise? Because I I have a problem with the tarea and the homework one point five. Uh, uh, one that high is uh, that I when you when we use word reader. Okay. And I I resolve the exercise uh, and I won. But okay. after search the, the, the class and uh, I resolve in. Uh, with the with explain in the class, uh, but when I write in the space, uh, I send the, the, the homework, and no 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 give me uh, the points. Okay. Because okay. Is, it is all is on in real that is on core is incorrect all, uh, but I I. I think that I I made the, the exercise uh, correct, but I I read I try again and don't and don't ability the other the other uh, form, but I I made the the other exercise, but in this is in in real all. Okay, so let's check. Let's check. Uh. I mean, you don't have a, a limit of attempts. No tenemos límite de intentos. Usted lo hace 100 veces, ¿verdad? Y en esa lo manda bien, entonces ahí se lo va a dar. Entonces no importa cuántas veces usted lo quiera hacer. Pero revisemos. Okay, so in the number one, well, it says order the words to create sentences. I believe we said this before, but we can do it right now. So it says the manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch 
much of the product period. So the period is very important, okay? Uh, and uh, sometimes happens that a veces pasa de que si le deja un espacio de más, no se la da. Si le da error y usted si lo puso correcto, borre todo mejor y lo vuelve a escribir. Eso sería. Eh, igual si hay un espacio al principio, si yo le pongo un espacio ahí, ya no me importa. Si yo le pongo un espacio acá, me yo show you y lo envío. Ah, bueno, en este caso sí, pero al final no se lo da. Ok. So we need to be careful. Entonces el primero sería así. El the second one. Many distributors will much rather sell our product at a lower price. Period. Okay. That will be the second one. Number three is they will rather withdraw the product than introduce it in new markets, period. Okay. Number four, many companies will rather operate as a premium option once the product is in the decline stage, period. And the last one, many more companies will rather become the low cost provider of a product with a great caution about war prices, period. Okay, and if you can see, I have everything green. Everything is correct. So if you okay, do it that I, way. Okay, I, uh, I review the, the, the exercise because I remember that this the, the form that I complained the, the, the exercise, but maybe it's possible that I use one space more or the orthography no, not good. Yeah, a little thing is going to cause that. One. So if you have questions about if you did it correctly or not, delete everything and type it again. So you will be able to. Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. Okay. So what we can do is this. Okay. Everybody try to do it. Try to do it today. If you have questions, chat with me or chat in the group. So me or the other partners here can help you. Uh, and if when we go to the class, you still have some questions, we can check. Okay. So that's something we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, when we have in the little box, the check in green, in green is completed or yes. is missing to complete. It is no, it's it's complete. completed? Yes. Ah, okay. I have a lot of. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. if it's in uh, red, yes. and the first unit, no. I guess that is completed. But in the oh yes, unit number two, I'm missing out of work. Okay. 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 But now I'm I'm going to do that. Okay. Sí. Eh, en el, el, el primer homework Aida, eh, en la primera semana me hacen falta un poquito menos de la mitad. Posiblemente en alguno de los ejercicios me falta un par de cosas. Entonces, just check into that, okay? En the section number one. Uh -huh. Si yo no puedo green. ver qué le hace falta exactamente, lo único que puedo ver es el puntaje. Y en ese eh, week número uno tiene 58 puntos de 100 posibles. Entonces, no puedo ver qué exactamente le hace falta, pero sí eh, le hace falta algunas cosas, entonces, para que lo revise. Pero puede ser, acuérdese de que hay cinco ejercicios. Entonces, digamos que en tres y la mitad de ellos hay algo que no está bien o no se ha completado. Si está en rojo... Vaya, no es que bien. aparece, aparece un... Vaya. Es que ya me hice bola. Si quiere, presente su pantalla. Ah, va. Ok. Ay, pero es que ahorita estoy desde de, de el teléfono y 
Y estoy ocupando la compu para ver esa. Bueno, ya me voy a conectar de la, de la compu. Ok, ok. Para así lo podemos compartir. revisar y así le, le explico alguna situación que haya. Uh -huh. Porque como le digo yo aquí, no puedo ver por cada quien, yo no puedo ver qué exactamente le hace falta, solo puedo ver el puntaje. ¿verdad? Tiene 58, o sea, tiene casi 60, quiere decir que le falta más. Ajá, vale. que supuestamente me falta, pero aquí ah. me aparece a mí que, que está completo o, o será por los errores. Puede ser, por eso tendríamos que verlo. Cuando usted lo pueda conectar, se pueda conectar, me avisa y así lo vemos. Y otra, otra, otra cosa que le sugiero es que trate de hacerlo en la computadora, a veces en el celular, a veces de errores, en la aplicación también de errores. Entonces, es mejor en la computadora. Si todos lo pueden hacer en la computadora, es better. Pero igual si no puede, ¿verdad? hay que hacerlo al menos eh, on the cell phone. So, that will be it. Sure. Yes. Can you check uh, if I if my uh, advance is, has been saved? My okay. Jonathan, lo, voy a, lo voy a refrescar. I'm going to refresh right now and I will tell you. Yes. Jonathan Please. Figueroa. Okay. Yeah, let me tell you, Jonathan, that yes, first, second, third is fine. You are missing uh -huh. the, the week four. La oh, cuatro... Okay. Eh, también le falta parte déjeme ver Jonathan ¿dónde está? aquí, vale, le falta la mitad del midterm test y le falta, pensaría yo que el final, eso le falta entonces, uh -huh. estamos en la semana 4 que es la que estamos terminando, el midterm test la mitad y el final test esos son los que le faltan ok, I got it teacher Very good. El 2.11 dice Jennifer. Vamos a revisar el 2.11. Creo que ya lo hemos visto también, ¿verdad? Ahorita vamos a ver. Let me check. Let me go there. 2.11. I remember we did that one. We got... Yeah, Jennifer. Sí, esa ya la habíamos visto. Ahorita se lo muestro. Ok. Okay, this is it. This is the 2.11. So the first part, I believe that you don't have any problem, right? But then we have this part. Entonces, acá, eh, bah, por ejemplo, dice, the place, el número uno, lo vamos a chequear. Para los que lo tengan todavía vacío, podemos irlo chequeando un solo, okay? Uh, este es el, les repito, 2.11, 2.11. So, uh, in this part, it says, The place strategy demands. Con ese porque es tercera persona. This is very, very important. Demands enough channels of distribution period. Okay. In the number two, our products offer great features and benefits period. Este creo que tenía algo raro. Si este no tiene, parece que tenía un error, ya lo habíamos visto también, que en lugar de enough, le tenemos que poner great. ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué? Es un error de la plataforma y si usted le pone great, se lo va a poner bueno. Entonces, great en vez de enough. The great features and benefits. El número tres, si está bien. Retailers will stock enough goods and sell them. Este no le puse period por si acaso. No sé si con el period. No, no. Oh, ya lo voy a enviar. Let me check. Ah, sí, me lo agarro con el period. Good. Number four. The marketing department hasn't created este es pasado participio. Created enough interest period and number five we lack enough information on the competition period si lo pone así y todavía se lo pone mal hay que borrar todo y volver a escribir ¿verdad? asegurémonos de que no quede ningún espacio no spaces so you are going to avoid any problems This is the 2.11. Good. 
Any other question with any other exercises? Alguna otra pregunta con algún ejercicio? Teacher, teacher, yes. In my case, I have, I have no question about the the platforms. Uh, but um, if tomorrow we finish um, this level or this course, intermediate three, and when when I start the next level. Okay, that is a very good question. That depends. You know, uh, Insafor has to receive a planilla from the company and then they have to check that everybody is, is done with the platform and then they are going to start the inscription for the next level. Almost always is around two weeks. Almost always. Um, sometimes, because of many reasons, it takes more time. And sometimes, in rare occasions, it takes only one week. So... The, the most common answer for the question is around two weeks, around two weeks. Okay, very good teacher, thank you. Okay. Thank you for your good. answer. Good, do you have any other questions about this? Okay. Teacher, uh -huh. can I share the screen? Yes, please go ahead, let's check together. Let's see how it goes. Okay. This check that is that I told you. Mm, I still can see. Okay, but ahí está bien. Ese todo mm -hmm. está bien. Vamos hasta arriba, please. Let's go to the top. Vaya, quiero ver. Usted está en el punto nueve. Vaya, allí sí le salen todos. Fíjense. Le dé clic al siguiente, por favor. Al, al, eh, a ese no, al siguiente. A ese, dicho, un, acá, un acá, yo come... Ah, es que estoy aquí, ve. Entonces voy para atrás. Ah, pues aquí voy a comenzar, de uno. Ah, ok. Uno. Sí. Let's check. Me ah, iba a decir sí. algo, Ernesto. Yes, justamente Va. eso. El que la actividad tenga el chequecito verde arriba no significa que el ejercicio todo esté bueno. Exacto. Sino que justo, justamente ahorita está, está revisando que habría, habría que revisar las respuestas de, Exacto. de la niña Aida. Por ejemplo, Ajá. este. Por Ajá, ejemplo, el número este. dos está mal. Todos esos que tienen rojo, lo que esté rojo está mal. Hay que volverlo a hacer. Y justamente en el final, Aida, vos vas a ver, si querés andarte hasta el final de esta parte y vas a ver Ajá. que si le das enviar, dale enviar y ahí te va a aparecer como un resultado. ¿Vale? Ahí está, mira, tenés... Si son cuatro preguntas, tenés dos buenas, por eso tenés 10 sobre 20. Cuando tengas Ahí todas buenas, poco. podemos pasar con él. No, no, yeah. tucha. <risa> solo, solo para ¿Qué? pasar el curso. Pro, 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 pro. <risa> no, mire, estas están fáciles, porque aunque en verdad no sepa usted la respuesta, pone otra, lo envía, ¿verdad? no recuerdo la verdad cuál es la respuesta. Ah, y ahí me voy. Ah, usted, o sea, por ejemplo, no, en esa. En la dos, digamos, vamos a probar con maturity. Usted dele maturity. La verdad no recuerdo si es esa, pero vamos hacia abajo. Y va, en la siguiente póngale decline, por ejemplo. O la que usted quiera, no sé. ¿verdad? Y le da enviar. Entonces, usted, usted lo puede enviar las veces que usted quiera. Ah, Ahí ya tiene tres. Bueno. Entonces, aquí, aquí ya, ya sabe que no es ninguna de las otras. Son, son cuatro. Ahí ya tuvo una buena. Entonces, solo tiene que ver ¿Cuál de las cuatro? ¿Cuál es de esas cuatro? Ya puso las otras respuestas sí. y la que le sobra es la respuesta de esa. Ajá. Entonces, uh. entonces, si está ya en creo. rojo, si está en rojo, está malo. No lo ha terminado todavía. O sea, a mí aquí ya me va a salir más puntos, ya me van a salir 60. Mm. O sea que se necesita que esté todo en, en verde. Correcto, Vaya, eso sí. está, está. Y si, das, y si la das a enviar, te va a dar. Aquí me mandé, mire, profe. 20 de 20, ahí está bien. Entonces, si se va para arriba, así tiene que ir haciendo en todos los ejercicios. Los que tienen ah, más, ahí está. Va, esas son las que acabamos de ver, la acabamos de ver. Usted puede ver este video y puede ver la respuesta de este y de las, del otro ejercicio. Entonces, eso es lo que le iba a decir, que estos ejercicios donde tenemos que digitar es donde hay más challenges. 
porque a veces pues tenemos que pensar bien la respuesta, pero aparte de eso, si usted no pone el punto, a veces se la pone mala solo por el punto, o si usted okay. pone un apóstrofe que se parece el símbolo al apóstrofe, pero no es el apóstrofe, o si pone un espacio de más, entonces eh, no se la pone bien. Entonces mi sugerencia es que la vaya haciendo, y si tiene preguntas las tira al grupo, bueno, yo estoy a veces ocupado, pero hasta donde pueda le voy a mandar ahí la ayuda, pero igual los demás compañeros a veces también ahí mandan, y esta es así, ¿verdad? ponerle así, y se la quitamos, y ahí estamos para ayudarle. Aquí lo importante es que pasemos, y que recuerde que solo tiene hoy en la noche y mañana para terminar. Uh -huh. Vaya, está bien. Bueno, okay. Ya dejo de compartir porque aquí, ahí, como usted me dijo, voy a ir haciendo, voy a ir revisando. Sí. Porque, uh -huh. ups. Uh -huh. <ríe> bueno, sí, ahí, mejor ahí voy a dejar de compartir. Ya. Ahí le, falta, <ríe> le faltan varias y tienen que revisar casi toda la plataforma. Pero lo bonito <ríe> es de que no son, o sea, estas así siento yo que son un poco más fáciles, ¿verdad? Eso es de seleccionar. Ajá, porque respuesta. se puede ir como que jugando ahí con la respuesta. Ajá. Y lo interesante es que también vaya analizando por qué sí, por qué no, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, pues, por ahorita lo más importante es terminarla. Que, que saquemos el, el, <ríe> el módulo a flote. Ya, vale, claro. Voy a dejar de compartir ya porque ya me dio un poco de vergüenza. No, no, <ríe> aquí estamos para ayudarle y son cosas. No, también. yo de broma, no, qué pena me va a dar. Sí. Lo que pasa <ríe> es que por mi, por mi trabajo, mira, a veces entre media hora, o sea, es que como trabajo todo el día. Es sacrificado, tiene que valorar eso también. No, sí, mira, yo siento que a todos nos Me siento sí. explotada en mi trabajo. Okay. Sí, es, es bien, yo sé, sé, para todos es un poco complejo, pues yo me levanto a las cuatro y sabe usted, no sé si ustedes han visto que a veces no me ven en la pantalla porque vengo manejando, vengo dando la clase, porque yo vengo a las ocho a la casa y termino, o sea, es bien pasado. Igual los compañeros, pues a veces cuando hablamos, si se fijan, a veces hablamos práctica y, y, y les pregunto, ¿verdad? ¿y usted dónde trabaja? Y ahí me, me dicen, me levanto a las cuatro y llego. Hay algunos que están cenando aquí en la, clase, en la casa y, y es complejo para todos. Pero entonces por eso tiene que valer la pena, tiene que valer la pena todo esto para poder seguir a él. Teacher, ¿Mm? we need to celebrate with a Johnny Walker. Yeah, that's the way it is, yeah. On ah, Saturday, Roberto. on Saturday watching the eclipse, you know. Eh, pero, Saturday... pero a Chepe no lo veo yo. Ah, bien, ahí está, José Alfredo. <risa> Aquí okay. estoy, miang miang. Johnny Walker, escuché. Johnny <risa> Walker. Yeah, he's participating because he's exquisito. He is is come back the the. Ahí está. Uh, cuando cu the, cuando the hablan the, the, cuando I hablan de alcohol the, me vuelve la vida. Ay, Ay, Rodrigo, Ramiro tampoco no lo escucho. Así ah, sí, ahí está. Hey, I am here. Good. Ahí está, ahí está. My Johnny friend, Walker. Hey, Johnny Johnny Walker. Walker. <risa> ya Shining, volvió a la vida. Shining the eyes. <risa> very good, very good. Okay. Now so we are going to continue with the class. We are going to uh, continue with a little video, okay? As usual, Uh, we are going to watch the video and then you are going to tell me uh, what did you understand about the video and uh, comments, opinions, okay? So this is about brand awareness. Let's see how it goes. Here's it. Okay, so here we go, my friends. Oh, I'm going to set this one. What role does storytelling play in your brand development work? Storytelling is huge. So here you've got a spirits brand, a craft spirits brand, a tequila. Tequila from the outset has the reputation, as we know, of the, oh my God, I had the worst hangover from drinking tequila in college. My clothes came off. I can't remember where I ended up. And it, so here I am working for this craft spirits brand. Dulce Vita Organic Tequila that I have a passion for. It's a phenomenal product. We have to tell the story in everything that we do because we're educating the consumer. When I go to the events that I do around the country and I'm sampling in front of individuals and they come up to me and they say, ooh, no, tequila, I don't know. Well, the answer to that is majority of the tequilas in the world are 80 proof. We are so unique in that we are the world's only 100% organic, 100 proof tequila. So you've got these other brands that will distill their product at 110 proof, dilute it down to 80 proof, which tends to give you a completely different flavor complexity and will tend to 
have people have the really bad hangovers and what, what they will. So with us, we literally distill at 100 proof, so we're the only brand in the world that can claim to be 100 proof, 100% organic, 100% tequila, 0% bullshit. <laughs> and that is going on the back of our t-shirts that we will have over the coming days. Yeah. But the story that we tell is literally that when people approach us at these events and they say, you know, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not in, I, tequila, I've got bad memories. But when we say, okay, well, what do you typically drink? If they're a vodka or a rum drinker, a clear spirits drinker, they'll like our Blanco. It's bottled straight from distillation. If they like scotch, we send them right to the Reposado, which is age nine months and 53-gallon yeah. Jim Beam barrels. Yeah. So the flavor complexity does lend itself to more of a scotch profile. And if they like bourbon, straight to the Añejo, age 18 months in those same 53-gallon barrels. So with each of those, we've got an answer for them based right. on the story that we're telling. Yeah. We're kosher, we're gluten-free, we're 100% organic, we're 100 proof, and if you just try us, chances are you're probably gonna like us. How has your storytelling evolved as you've received feedback from people at events as well as uh, staff at uh, restaurants and, and bars where you're you know, serving your spirit? Well, you know, with any quote-unquote sales that you do, you've always got the arm out. The person on the other end, the bartender or the consumer, you know, your job is to, to push that arm back and then they accept whatever it is that you're trying to, to sell them on. So with the telling of our story at Dulce Vida of why we're different, um, you know, it's really trying to break through that door with a bartender in particular. Uh, got back from Atlanta, Georgia a couple weeks back and met with a couple of different uh, accounts that had never heard of us. And, and that's very common because we're a growing brand. We've been around six years, been bottled five years. So not a lot of people know us, especially outside of Texas, but that's my job. And so when, when we meet with them, the, the ultimate question is always, why you and not Don Julio or um, El Himador, you know, Milagro, any of the other brands out there. Um, and that's where we, we start to tell the story that we are um, so much more unique that being organic, we literally manage the entire process from the time that the agave plant goes into the ground until it is bottled, boxed, and shipped out of our distillery outside of Guadalajara. We manage the entire process, our team of 10, specifically our CEO and founder and our VP of sales and marketing. They have complete control over what product is going in the bottles. There's nothing unnatural, there's no herbicides, no pesticides. So once you get into that story with the consumer and, and at events or with a bar staff at a particular restaurant and they hear how unique we really are, and it's how we market ourselves. We use a guerrilla marketing approach. We're not spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on outdoor billboards, which for the brands here in Austin like D. Betty and Tito's Vodka, they do a great job, an amazing job of marketing themselves. Uh, because they can, they have deeper pockets, but what we do is literally telling the story more. That's, that's our job, and it's involving ourselves in charitable events and um, you know, music festivals and even events here and around Austin, but um, expanding that, that same approach in, in markets here in 2014 like California and New York and Georgia and Colorado. Okay, what did you understand about the video? Sure. Uh, the video uh, or the YouTubers uh, in the in the title of the of the this YouTube use the storytelling for increase brand awareness and product sales. And I I understand that in this video uh, the YouTuber mentioned uh, a good example about the tequila and the, and the story, it, the people uh, that's proof of tequila in 50%, 80%, 100%, uh, but the, the very, very important to tell a story in a, in a social media uh, for increase the brand awareness uh, is the key uh, in this era of the globalization for increase the sales of a specific product. Okay, very good, perfect. So yes, I mean, um, the brand awareness as we have learned in this yeah. unit is one of the most important things. Um, I mean, maybe you have a very good product, maybe the price is good, but you need to reach the target, yeah. the people, right? So uh, that is something we need to move on to that. Any other comments or opinion? 
Yes, uh, teacher, I understand. It's uh, very important. The, uh, the product is um, natural, don't have insecticide, don't have uh, pesticide, is uh, um, organic. 100% e, e this a uh, 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 very like uh, to, to all the cost co consumers uh, is e this is the uh, most important uh, 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 the 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 product yeah actually uh well it's kind of complicated right it's kind of complicated because Nowadays, I mean, I've been I've been checking videos about that, but nowadays, almost all the products have chemicals, right? Almost all the products have, I don't know, pesticides. I was reading, for example, that uh, the juices that sell Coca Cola that has a chemical that produces cancer. In mind that, and the kids they drink that juice. Uh, there is a movie in Netflix, if you want to watch it, that is based on real life. And that uh, is based on a, on a factory there in the U.S. that they, where they used to create uh, pans. Do, do you know what is a pan? No. Cacerolas. Cacerolas ah. de teflon. And they yes. say that teflon causes cancer. I mean, and in the United States, it's, it's banned, it's forbidden, it's not possible for those people to sell the flown. But what they do is they send those products to Latin America. And here we are very happy cooking with them, right? Teacher, in, in, this, in this situation, uh, this product, uh, the other product uh, are very expensive. The other kind of, of pan, are very expensive. It's true. Yeah. That is true. So if you want something that is healthier, you need to to pay more more money, right? Because there are there are some other pans based on metal or aluminium and many other things, but they are very expensive, as you said. So I mean, uh, I don't know. Nowadays, I mean, the chicken, you know, they put some chemical for they to look very nice. Uh, I was checking a video, for example, that uh, they were comparing the salt, the regular salt, and Himalayan salt. And they say that the Himalayan salt is better than the, than the regular salt. It's because of the regular salt, since that is extracted from the ocean, the regular salt has plastic. So when you put this salt to the food, you are eating plastic. In my little microscopic things of plastic. And the Himalayan salt, since that salt is there before the human came to this world, the salt is nice, no plastic in the salt. So all the products, probably all the products that you find in the supermarket, I believe all the products has something, right? Something. So it's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult to be healthy. And uh, I mean, not everybody, not everybody is the same. I mean, uh, yeah, there are people that they die 80, 90 years old. They are kind of healthy. But some other people, they sometimes they get cancer or other other sicknesses, right? And of course, the companies they don't they don't say anything about that because of the money. Money is the most important thing in business, right? So sometimes they don't care, even when they know that it's not healthy. Sometimes they don't care. So what we need to do is to research and to decide decide what you are going to eat, what you are going to wear. For example, another thing that I was checking is that. Uh, if you go to the stores and you buy clothes, shirts, pants, anything like that, it's very nice and you smell that the new clothes is very nice. But they say that they put a chemical also to those clothes so they look very nice. But that chemical also causes cancer. So you need to wash the new clothes. All I, didn't, I didn't know, teacher. In mind. So we don't know. We are surrounded 
bad, a lot of dangerous things that little by little can kill you, right? Little by little. So we need to research. We need the to human, the human produce bad bad things. Yeah, and that's the problem sometimes because it's it's not that expensive, and because they they really care about the money, uh, they don't care about humans. Uh, I mean, we don't know. We don't know sometimes what we are consuming, but we need to research. So it's something that we really need to do. Read about things, and uh, sometimes you know, sometimes the body tells you. For example, myself, when I drink those kind of juices, as I was telling you, my stomach doesn't like. It's better to buy oranges and do your own juice. It's very expensive. I mean, because nowadays oranges are very expensive, right? Everything in the market is very expensive. But if you really want to do something like that, even when they have pesticides and other things, even like that, it's healthier than buying uh, things on the supermarket that are made with chemicals. So interesting. It's very interesting. And it's something that we can discuss a lot. I yes, believe. Teacher, mm -hmm. if, for example, is this is this reason because um, for the expensive, uh, it's expensive. Eat, eat healthy food. Uh, for this reason, uh, it um, um, the cheaper, but the cheaper is is not a good a good food. That is true. Uh, and that happens a lot. I mean, I was remembering right now that I was watching another video that uh, Asante was explaining that uh, the oil that we consume, the cheapest, uh, is, is dead. Uh, all those uh, are dead. And you put that into the foods and it's going to cause some problems with your stomach long term, of course, not immediately, but long term. Mm -hmm. And that the best that you can have is olive oil or coconut oil. Only those two. Other than that, the rest is not healthy, okay. but it's cheaper the other ones, right? So I know that it's difficult because we have a budget and we have to pay a lot of things. We have to pay the house, we have to pay the cell phone, we have to pay the light. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to, to do healthy things because as you say, it's very expensive. Our, our priorities. Yeah, that is another problem, right? Also, we can discuss a lot. Sometimes we prefer to have the best cell phone, but not going to the doctor. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that happens. It is, so, it is true. So you need to prioritize. We need to analyze what we want to do with our lives. Yesterday, where we wanna... yesterday I watched a, a yeah. meme that say, I held the last generation phone and I don't need nothing more uh, with a smile, but without tooth. <laughs> that happens. I mean, it's real life. That is happening. Uh, so this is a good thing because here in the English classes, we not only practice English, but sometimes we can analyze things, right? And it's very good if you analyze and you change your life little by little. Sometimes it's not possible to do it immediately. But then if you research, if you decide to do exercise, for example, if you decide to to read good books, if you decide to to research and decide not to to add, eat food that is not healthy, but that is good. Because this is very interesting. English is communication, right? And if we are able to analyze and have better life, that is that is the most important. Teacher. Right. And there oh. are some, sorry, <laughs> and there are many companies that they tell us that directly uh, the bad things that they put in the in some food because I saw in in the supermarket that they put exceed of sodium or exceed of sugar, but sometimes we don't. A veces, a veces que nosotros no le ponemos atención a eso. Solo vamos a comprar producto, pero a veces ahí, ahí están poniendo como la, la advertencia. Y otra, y otra cosa que, lo, por ejemplo, los embutidos tienen nitritos y nitratos, dicen, que son agentes cancerígenos. 
Y, la, y los aceites también, eso que usted menciona, yo lo he escuchado, que dice que tienen unos químicos que se llaman químicos para siempre, que nunca salen del cuerpo y lo Exacto. que hacen es como corromper, digamos, las células del cuerpo. Así que sí, es bien, bien interesante eso. Uh, yes, we can analyze two points about that one. The first thing is that sometimes we suddenly say, I don't feel very well. But it's not suddenly. I mean, that doesn't happen. The problem is that the body resists, right? It resists. But then 20, 30, 40 years later, the body says, no more. I cannot do this anymore. Right? And then is when you say, I have a pain here. Something happened. It's very strange. It's not strange. I mean, it's something that you're putting inside of your body every day for 20, 30 years. And then we have also the other side of the story that is exactly what we are studying here, the branding, right? For example, we were discussing before that some, some people, they are thirsty. They want to drink something, but they don't want water. They want Coca-Cola, right? And that is the branding in your mind. Right, even when it's dangerous. I mean, that is very, very dangerous. Uh, you have you intake a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. I was watching a video that says that if you take that amount of sugar and you ate, eat that sugar, you have to vomit. But you don't do it with the soda because of the uh, phosphor, phosphoric something. I don't remember, and that causes that you stay on that one. And I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. The world is crazy right so we need to we need to be careful we and we need to protect our families as, as well the real problem as i say before is that maybe everything is dangerous it's impossible not to consume some things but at least we need to analyze what is more dangerous and what is less dangerous and then at least decide things that are less dangerous right so that's the, those are things that we need. definitely good analyze, good class. Uh, go ahead. Today with the with the, the new product, uh, with the develop, uh, with the technology, uh, is uh, is created uh, many problems for the human and for the environment and. My, uh, most in the health of the people. But the problem is that we, in El Salvador, we have a, a country that don't have a economic condition. So it's a percentage, uh, a person uh, that have minus of five dollars today or per day. Uh, with Five dollars uh, is very difficult. So I got one day, one week time. And that is uh, that, that condition to the people to shop the product more cheap. Uh, you can see in the street, uh, you can see in the street, uh, people uh, prefer shop soda and not uh, another product healthy and not a fruit not another thing and is preferred uh, chop uh, chongenga pica rico <laughs> <laughs> and not chop uh, a pile of the uh, fruit uh, bananas anything that is more a healthy and is more uh, for the hungry is more convenient. But the economic situation is that the made condition produce the more cheap product. And today is uh, is very hard the situation, the economic situation for all the people in Salvador. Uh, more with the, the problem in the in Guatemala, with the problem now in the Russia and in Ukraine, and with the problem that the Hamas in Israel, 
uh, all that thing is making that the situation uh, economic for the people, for the worker, uh, is more difficult because all things day of day, each day, is more expensive. And that is a big problem for the, the, the condition or for care, the, the health of the people. Very true. That is very true. So definitely, uh, what you mentioned is, is you mentioned something that is very important. We decide, right? I believe that that is something that we need to analyze. All the decisions that we make. If we're going to wake up early, if we're going to work in this place, if we're going to eat these things, all the decisions, that is life. Life is decisions, right? Everything and all the decisions that we make, they have a consequence, right? Yeah, for example, you can say, uh, today I'm going to walk. I am not going to take the bus. But maybe there on the corner, there are some assaultants and you are going to get stolen your cell phone. It was your decision. Maybe you didn't know, right? But it was your decision, right? I believe that everybody has happened that you decide to do something and goes wrong. Uh, it was your decision. So the only thing is that sometimes we need to analyze more in deep the decisions that we make, right? Because um, it's going to have some consequences for our bodies, for our minds, Right. A lot of people, for example, they have a lot of free time and it's fine to watch memes. I really enjoy memes. I mean, in Facebook, I send a lot of memes, but also it's important to read something, to learn something. I mean, nowadays, nowadays we have all the information in the world that in our pockets, in the cell phone. You can learn anything that you may want, anything. So it's okay to have some fun, to get entertainment, to watch a movie, to watch a video, but it's also important to research, to learn, right? So we are better every day and we can share that knowledge with other people the way that we are doing right now, because sometimes maybe you can, you can change the life of other people just by saying something. So all those little things are very, very important. To say that uh, it is very important that you say in the decision because all have uh, the possibility that change our, our own world, our, our uh, own life, sorry. Because uh, say that the poor not is a condition, is a decision, uh, it, it is a really. Uh, we have to take the decision that uh, permit uh, develop uh, the educative and the education, sorry, and the health and the economic in another thing. But uh, the, the system uh, is more convenient that the people stay watching the Facebook. Uh, playing um, games in, online uh, in another, but not thinking. The problem is that the, in our country is historic that we have potential, but our decision is uh, that it's better watching TV than read a book. It's better uh, go to uh, watching a, a series or another thing, or, or watching the, the Facebook and don't learn to another language. The another thing that is the, the, the reality in our country, in America, in America Latina or Latin America, I don't know how do you say how I, I say that, but this yeah. oh, really Japan is a, a country more little than the Salvador, but here is the a economic potential. Um, yes, 
situation about the, uh, the, the help of anyone. Very good. Actually, yeah, I mean, you mentioned something that is very important as well here. Um, the first step to improve your life is to make a decision, right? To decide, I'm going to do exercise today, or I'm going to eat healthier, or I'm going to learn something. It's not easy. That is the real problem. Because people, sometimes they prefer easy things. That's why in Latin America, all the young people, they prefer to be YouTuber and not to study for a doctor, right? So it's a, a big problem that is going, in the future, we're going to have a lot of problems. I don't know what's going to happen. But you decide, right? And it's not easy. For example, you yourself here in this class, as uh, we were speaking with Aida, it's not easy. I mean, you wake up very early, go to your jobs, do everything that you have to do, and go back to your house and then connect to the class two hours. It's not easy. Uh, you are tired. I am tired sometimes. At 10, I mean, on Fridays, at 10, after all the week, waking up very early. But this this is, I mean, is the effort that you need well, so you can improve, right? Huh? Yes, when when the week advance, for example, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, I I think or I believe that uh, uh, we are very very tired. But this is a good effort for for our careers, our job, for the future, and this for for me this is the the, the good moment because I learned other language uh, and it's possible in the future uh, uh, think in the other place, in the other position, not only in my organization or my NGO, it's possible in other NGO. Oh, or for me uh, also, um, um, for me, the other person in the other cultures, when I visit, for example, United States, Canada, the others, the other countries. And that is shit, uh, Aida, go ahead. Uh, no, I I want to give you my, give my opinion about the topic, okay? Because I know that we made every single day a bit effort but the most difficult thing that I think in this country is the opportunity, okay? Uh, improve about the uh, the jobs because it's difficult to find a really job that you uh, you feel, for example, comfortable, okay? In the case of the schedule and the transportation, I guess. Okay, uh, it's really hard to find in this country in Okay, uh, I don't know how to say, a pesar de, el esfuerzo, uh, okay. <laughs> in the spite of. Okay, in spite of the effort that we made every single day. Yeah, uh, you are right. Sometimes it's difficult, but you are going to find it. Um, in my experience, let me tell you, uh, English is amazing. I mean, I have a major in business administration and I have a lot of opportunities, but the biggest opportunities that I had was because of English. English opened a lot of doors, a lot. I I mean, it, it not only for work, because yes, for work, I had the opportunity to travel because of the English or many other things, just to enjoy a song and to understand that one or to watch a movie and to understand and really enjoy that movie, that is very nice. I mean, you go to a different level, right? Only only those little things. They, I mean, you, you see the world in a different way. And of course, opportunities are going to come. Everybody has the opportunity. Sometimes, I believe, I, I always have said that one, that I believe that in jobs, the opportunities is like when you when you get a bus sometimes the bus is crowded it's crowded and some people they are lucky because they are they stand up 
and the person that is next to them, they they get off the bus and then you can sit, right? For some people, it's easier because they're lucky. But if you continue traveling, one way or another, you are going to get a position in one year, in two years, in five years. We don't know when, but there are opportunities and you are going to find your opportunity. That is for sure. The only thing that you need to do is to continue, to continue learning, to continue practicing because English is a matter of practicing. When you finish the class tomorrow, the expectation is that on Wednesday, maybe not two hours, but let's say 15 or 20 minutes, you need to continue practicing, right? Because if you only wait for the class, it's not going to, it's not going to be good. If you really want to learn English, you need to do it yourself. I always tell people, I mean, English is not difficult. I know that the time, family, things, but I never, I never went to any English class in my life. Never. I learned English by myself because I wanted to do it. And it was difficult because it took a lot of time. It was a long time ago. Uh, there was no internet. There was no possibilities. But I learned. And it opened a lot of doors. And that's why I am here. Because I want to help other people. So that you can reach your own opportunities. As well. I like to meet people. And I like to, to help a little bit. Okay. So it depends on you. It depends on everybody. Let's go back to the basic that we were speaking today. Decisions. Well. You have the decisions in your hands. You decide what you are going to do. Everybody has 24 hours. What you are going to do with those hours, that depends on you, right? That is it. That is it. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, somebody was going to say really? something. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I think that it is uh, important to use the uh, the application uh, staying in online online. Uh, for example, Duolingo, for example, take a lesson and uh, application that uh, use uh, her, her self system, but uh, is very uh, utility for for learn uh, little English or depend uh, of or interest uh, maybe can uh, use movies in English series in English because the ear uh, is uh, familiarity or stay with that, that, that one form. Uh, in his lear, the tone is lear, the, the pronunciation is most, uh, most easy for lear. When we uh, hear a uh, uh, pronunciation, is most easy to lear that. Yeah, actually, there is another advantage that you have. Uh, nowadays, there are a lot of resources, a lot. You decide what is the best for you. So if it's with music, with music. If you want to watch movies, videos, that is fine. If you want to find exercises, you can just type on the internet and you are going to find exercises. So the invitation is for you to move on, to continue, to finish the classes, but then continue practicing. If it's possible for you to travel or to speak with people from other countries, that is even better. And opportunities are going to come, definitely. So that is going to help. Uh, a lot of people sometimes in the one-on-ones, they ask me what is what I can do for me to, to learn English. Do you analyze that the best way for you to learn English is to go to other country? I mean, that's the best way, but sometimes it's not possible. So the only thing that you need to do is to think in English every day. When you wake up in the morning and you say, I believe that everybody is like, what am I going to have for breakfast? Coffee or bread, or I'm going to go to the supermarket. 
all those little things, you need to think it in English. You are going to find some words that you don't know. You go to the dictionary, and tomorrow you will be able to use it and continue. That is the best way. The best practice is in your mind every day at all times. And then you are going to, to be very fluent. You will see that. Okay, uh, now that we are... Okay. And some time for relax, bring Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker, of course. Yeah, after three shots of Johnny Walker, you are going to be very fluent it, in English. It, yeah, I speak English, French, Germany, <laughs> and Chinese. <laughs> and Mandarin, Roberto. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now that we are speaking about philosophy and life and many other things, I want to show you a video that is very special for me. Um, this is very nice because um, we found it with my son a long time ago. I always try to find the time so you can watch. So I'm going to show you. Uh, it's animated. I'm going to put the subtitles there. And then we are going to, we are going to give opinion on this video, okay? Let's see how it goes. Here we go. You were on your way home when you died. It was a car accident. Nothing particularly remarkable, but fatal nonetheless. It was a painless death. The medics tried their best to save you, but to no avail. Your body was so utterly shattered, you were better off, trust me. And that's when you met me. What happened? Where am I? You died, I said, matter-of-factly. No point in mincing words. There was... there was a truck, and it was skidding. Yes. I... I died. Yes. But don't feel bad about it. Everyone dies. You looked around. There was nothingness. Just you and me. What is this place? Is this the afterlife? More or less. Are you God? Yes, I'm God. My kids. My wife. What about them? Will they be all right? That's what I like to see, I said. You just died and your main concern is for your family. That's good stuff right there. You looked at me with fascination. To you, I didn't look like God. I just looked like some man or possibly a woman. Some vague authority figure, maybe. Don't worry, I said. They'll be fine. Your kids will remember you as perfect in every way. They didn't have time to grow contemptuous of you. Your wife will cry on the outside, but will be secretly relieved. To be fair, your marriage was falling apart. If it's any consolation, she'll feel very guilty for feeling relieved. Oh, so what happens now? Do I go to heaven or hell or something? Neither. You'll be reincarnated. Ah. So the Hindus were right. All religions are right in their own way. Walk with me. You followed along as we strode through the void. Where are we going? Nowhere in particular. It's just nice to walk while we talk. So, what's the point then? When I get reborn, I'll just be a blank slate, right? A baby. So, all my experiences and everything, everything I did in this life, won't matter. Not so. You have within you all the knowledge and experiences of all your past lives. You just don't remember them right now. I stopped walking and took you by the shoulders. Your soul is more magnificent beautiful and gigantic than you can possibly imagine. A human mind can only contain a tiny fraction of what you are. It's like sticking your finger in a glass of water to see if it's hot or cold. 
you put a tiny part of yourself into the vessel, and when you bring it back out, you've gained all the experiences it had. You've been in a human for the last 48 years, so you haven't stretched out yet and felt the rest of your immense consciousness. If we hung out here for long enough, you'd start remembering everything. But there's no point to doing that between each life. How many times have I been reincarnated then? Oh, lots. Lots and lots. And into lots of different lives. This time around, you'll be a Chinese peasant girl in 540 AD. Wait. What? You're sending me back in time? Well, I guess technically. Time as you know it only exists in your universe. Things are different where I come from. Where... where you come from? Oh, sure. I come from somewhere, somewhere else. And there are others like me. I know you'll want to know what it's like there, but honestly, you wouldn't understand. Oh, you said, a little let down. But wait, if I get reincarnated to other places in time, I could have interacted with myself at some point. Sure, happens all the time. And with both lives only aware of their own lifespan, you don't even know it's happening. So, what's the point of it all? I looked you in the eye. The meaning of life, the reason I made this whole universe, is for you to mature. You mean mankind? You want us to mature? No, just you. I made this whole universe for you. With each new life, you grow and mature and become a larger and greater intellect. Just me? What about everyone else? There is no one else. In this universe, there's just you and me. You stared blankly at me. But all the people on Earth? All you. Different incarnations of you. Wait, I'm everyone. Now you're getting it. I'm every human being who ever lived. Or who will ever live, yes. I'm Abraham Lincoln. And you're John Wilkes Booth too. I'm Hitler, you said, appalled. And you're the millions he killed. I'm Jesus. And you're everyone who followed him. You fell silent. Every time you victimized someone, you were victimizing yourself. Every act of kindness you've done, you've done to yourself. Every happy and sad moment ever experienced by any human was or will be experienced by you. You thought for a long time. Why? Why do all this? Because someday you will become like me. Because that's what you are. You're one of my kind. You're my child. Wow, you said incredulous. You mean, I'm a god? No, not yet. You're a fetus. You're still growing. Once you've lived every human life throughout all time, you will have grown enough to be born. So the whole universe, it's just an egg, I answered. Now it's time for you to move on to your next life. And I sent you on your way. Okay, what did you get from the video? It's very yeah. interesting. Uh, the driving uh, a truck have an accident and he died. He, is he going to the talking with good God? And <laughs> it's very interesting. He is a very uh, it's a thing for your family. And God says, no problem. You return with a reborn. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's crazy the idea, right? Yeah. But, 
very interesting that uh, Ramiro mentioned. Um, and I understand for this video that uh, this light in our heart is a transition. Uh, the life in the in the other in the other life, uh, and I I I really good the, the phrase uh, when when he asked uh, to God. Uh, uh, what what is me and you're you're my child uh, good 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 video teacher very motivated okay very good thank you any other comments or opinions if for me is i don't want to cry <laughs> it's, it's for me is uh, interesting that the, the video because show us the important uh, the essence of the human. And yeah. our soul is uh, is only a part of our existence. And but uh, it is important too that that's uh, explain that we are only a little part for saying uh, something, uh, a little particle of the universe. We are, uh, our essence is more, uh, more transcendent than the, the physical. Our soul is more important than the physical. And, but show too that this important that the, we have, the, the, we know that here in our existence, uh, we have to to make a difference. Uh, we have to to make uh, the difference with the people more nearly of us, because everybody is uh, is sometimes sorry is that the with the more nearly people. We are most uh, indifferent sometimes, and the video is very interesting uh, for for this reflection. Yeah, actually, that is the best part for me. I mean, uh, we don't know what happens when we die, and we don't know many things. But the presentation of that one is is very interesting. When God says to the person, uh, "You are going to reincarnate in a person two hundred." years before Christ. And then he said, so you are going to send me back in time? Yes, I mean, time doesn't exist. It's just in your universe, I mean. And then he says, so if I go back in time, maybe sometimes I met with myself. And he says, all the time, because this universe is just for you. You are all the human people in this world. So there is nobody else, it's just you. So you are everybody. You will reincarnate in every single person here in this world. So every time that you kill somebody or every time that you did something bad to other people, you did it to yourself. And every time that you did something good for other people, you did it to yourself as well. So that one is, is for me the, the best thing. So it's very interesting. And there is a question there in the video that also we need to analyze sometimes. What is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of life for you? Why are you here in this world? To learn English. Now that is just part. Yes, teacher. For me, is be honest. Uh, uh, with my job, uh, with my family, and save my family. And uh, a few years uh, ago, um, in two thousand twenty, 
my father died for the for the for the COVID during the pandemic. And in this moment, it's a it's a hard moment for my family and me. But I understand that the most important things in my life, my in my life is is my family. Yes. Okay. That is it. So you have a reason why you're here. This is this is my reason. For this reason, uh, I love my job. I love uh, to make different action for for increase uh, my knowledge in a specific topic and and wake up early and driving to the other municipality uh, to come back and come back and eat eat dinner with my family. Uh, talk that uh, my different actions uh, in my in my day with my family for me is very important. Perfect, very good. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else? Um, I want to participate. Okay. So I just want to to make a a commentary. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes we are so worried about about all little things that sometimes we forget that we are here in, in, in this world uh, in, in first uh, first place to prize our God and enjoy enjoy the life because uh, nobody knows in what moment the, the life is going to stop and uh, maybe Right now, uh, it could be our last minute in the in the world, and we have to enjoy everything, enjoy every minute we have with our family, every minute we are with our friends, and if we are working, we have to to give thanks to our God because we have work, and we are and we if we have. Um, only beans for our dinner. We have to do things because we have uh, something to eat in another country, um, for example, Africa. Uh, there are a lot of people that only have uh, maybe uh, a little piece or slice of, of food. So I think. Uh, uh, and uh, that uh, most of the time people are uh, thinking about uh, a lot of things and forget that we are here uh, to enjoy the life and as I said before, to prize uh, our God, I think. Very good, perfect, thank you for sharing. You are right. Uh, if you research about regrets, do you know what is regrets? Anybody? Arrepentirse. Exactly. Regrets for almost everybody when they die. The most common regret is that that you need more time to spend for money with your family. Right? Uh, you need to to be happy, to live, right, to enjoy life. What Osea says is, is something very true. Um, it's not possible to be happy all the time. But it's possible to enjoy all the moments, even the painful moments. You need to enjoy and embrace those little moments because those are part of your life. Pain is part of life. Suffering is part of life. And you need to learn from that one, right? So you become a better person and you understand and help other people in the future. So even when a moment is difficult, remember that life is, is made of that, it's made of moments. Even if the moment is very, very hard, remember that the moment is going to finish. So you need to enjoy that moment and wait for the next moment that maybe is going to be better, right? Good. Any other person wants to share? What is the meaning of life? That's the question.
Why are you in this world? Nobody else says. <laughs> it's very Sorry. go ahead. But I I I have a problem with the audio. Okay. It's slowly and no uh, no understand the question. Oh yeah. Uh, what is the meaning of life? Okay. Life is today, is now. Uh, uh, it really is uh, we 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 like uh, with the preparation that tomorrow, but tomorrow not six not exist, and tomorrow is a possibility only. Uh, I think that uh, today is the day for do anything. But uh, I feel you. I feel comfortable. And that expression, uh, uh, I, I feel with my family, I expression with uh, uh, if I feel good, if I feel bad, and with the, the family, with the people more near of me, and make the difference today because tomorrow is only. Uh, uh, expectation is only phantom for tomorrow. Very good. That's also very interesting what Roberto Carlos said. I mean, the past is in the past. We cannot do anything about it. The future, we don't know what it's going to bring. Imagine with the pandemic, right? I remember that I was going to work one day. And I saw that everybody was sick and it was very dangerous. And then when I was going to my job, uh, the person that gives me the transportation told me, today you're not going to your job. You are going to stay at home. And suddenly the world changed. Right? And nobody expected that. I mean, it was, I remember watching the news in New York, for example, everything was empty. In biggest cities of the of the country, empty, right? So I believe that nobody expected that to happen. We don't know what is going to bring to the future. So we need to enjoy the today. We need to embrace the moment. Yes, we can think about the future, about what you're gonna do tomorrow, but the plans can change. Everything can be different. Right. And we don't know what the humanity is going to do. Speaking about the pandemic, I remember watching the news about the toilet paper. Right? Do you remember that? That people got crazy about the toilet paper. I mean, I remember watching the movies of zombies at the end of the world and people were fighting about things. And I said, no, humanity is not that stupid. <laughs> we're fighting about toilet paper in real life. I mean, I don't know. What is going to happen in the future? We don't know. It can be something very funny, something very nice. For example, the class of tonight, I mean, I, I, I was going to make a reading and many other things, but the class changed and we adapt ourselves and we are sharing very nice moments by analyzing many things. And that is good. That is good sometimes. That's the only thing that you need to do to embrace the moment. To enjoy good things and bad things, all of our life, right? Any other comments or opinion? What is the meaning of life? Why are we here? Play football like yeah. Messi. <laughs> well, maybe in PlayStation I can do some things like that, but in real life I, I just like, can't. A, like yes, a Cristiano can. Ronaldo. Like yeah. a Cristiano, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the, in, the, in the play, in the play is possible. Yeah, yeah. On PlayStation, you can do some tricks very nice, right? You can win a lot of things. 
Yeah, it's fantastic. Life is very good. I believe that life is amazing. Uh, is I believe it's both. Life is very complicated, but also it's very easy. All right, my life is very easy. You just need to be happy, to enjoy, to help people. But also you need to work. Sometimes you don't have time, you're tired. Money is difficult to, to, to get it. And it's very easy to spend it, right? So that makes it difficult. Sometimes I want to buy so many things, but I have to go little by little. Build. Yes, yes teacher. Uh, the last the last week, and um, I heard and watched bad news in the world. Guatemala and Israel. Uh, Roberto's mentioned something about it, but uh, I think that um, we need to find. And to enjoy this life, uh, practice to the exercise, uh, watch watch the movie in the cinema, uh, and talk in the mon uh, walk in the mountain, and go to the to the beach. Uh, something something that. Uh, you feel very good in a day and ins inspired your life or motivate the next day. This, this, this is for me is very important. That is true. That is true. I mean, there are many things that we can do. Uh, we can, I mean, sometimes only by speaking with a person, getting a cup of coffee is amazing, right? It's something very nice. And if you can plan things with your family, with your friends, it's very bad that we are here online, so we don't practice. Sometimes, you know, in the past, when I was teaching in in person, we used to, to do some trips in English. So that is something very nice. Uh, sometimes it's not possible, right? But whenever you can do it, spend time, quality time with the ones you care. And also it's very important to, to get good communication with everybody. And yeah, the word is crazy. I mean, for example, I was reading the news. I don't know if you check about the war in Israel again, right? So that is a forever war. I, I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, why don't they just sit down, get a conversation and agree on some things? I know sometimes it's difficult, but killing people, I mean, that's that's this, is, this is a historical war. In between two countries, but I, I, I think that I heard uh, currently uh, for for this for for this action the last week uh, in Israel and uh, have or had uh, one thousand died. I think uh, yes. More or less. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Any war is not good. Uh, I believe that almost everybody will understand that one. It is very crazy that we are in the 21st century uh, with this all, all this technology and all these things that we can achieve. And we still have war, right? We still have people damaging other people, getting hurt. So it's crazy. I don't know. So that comes to another question that we can analyze. How do you think is going to be the world in the future, in 10 years, in 20 years? What do you think is going to happen? It's going to be a better world. It's going to be a crazier world. I think that the China country will have the power economics. Yeah, that is happening, right? They are very smart, uh, very, very smart people. So they are building a lot of things and countries like the United States. Yeah, they, uh, the country is kind of crazy as well. People getting some money and I don't know, uh, the Chinese. Uh -huh. 
Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, in the in the weekend, I watch I watch a video about uh, the China of the future, uh, China of, uh, and the China government invest um, in the artificial intelligence. If I I think in ten or twenty five years ago. And yeah. currently, currently the artificial intelligence uh, in China uh, have very, very good and power companies. That is so true. I mean, uh, I mean, they are investing, they are moving with technology, with the power. I really admire the Chinese people because they I mean, they build a lot of things. They create lots of things. They yes. can... China, China create a very hard browser in the internet uh, with the uh, artificial intelligence. Oh, very good. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, the future is coming with a lot of technology and a lot of things that we can do. Artificial intelligence is something that people are looking to get a lot in. Some people are afraid, are afraid that uh, because of artificial intelligence, uh, some employees get fired. Maybe it's possible. I was reading that BMW, the factory that they create the cars, uh, they, there was a department where some people, they check the quality of the painting on the car. And now only machines, they do that. The machines check all the uh, painting and all the things on the surface of the car and uh, they correct the mistakes. So only machines with the artificial intelligence. So probably that is going to happen not at a hundred percent, but it's happening already. So they are replacing, the machines are replacing humans in some companies, in some departments, not in all the departments, but some departments. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Like like Alexa, China has created uh, something something very similar. But uh, this product, the China product, identified an eight or tenth language. In my, that is crazy. Very good. Yes. With the uh, intelligent, uh, intelligent artificial uh, the last week I read uh, about uh, in Singapore I, I believe is uh, with the chat chat GPS GPA GPT don't don't remember the name but it is uh, for that uh, a company change uh, 30 employees for the, the system and this is the, 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 the new reality because uh, the future is uh, no, no I think that in five years in El Salvador uh, the call center uh, will be near minus people for the world and he is avanti, he will be avanti, uh, because the artificial intelligence is, or oh, intelligence artificial, I don't remember how, how you say that, but uh, in, for me, is uh, the advance is very aggressive here in our reality. And China, you, you are, uh, uh, yes, they have cameras in all place in the downtown. If you go to the trash uh, late and in putting another in place that not is correct or not is permission, uh, immediately you have a ticket uh, and say that you you have you you, you made that. Uh, and you have uh, 
to correct the, 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 the attitude for this uh, wireless, I, uh, they are wireless in both all the, the downtown of China, in the country, in the cities of this country, uh, in the most important, uh, the government, now all that the people may or the people do is interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting and you are right. So maybe one of the problems is that, yeah, it's going to be used for control, right? That kind of power is dangerous. Uh, I mean, now it's dangerous that uh, when you use the cell phone, all your data is going to to a, a server. They keep all that information so they can use it in marketing. But it's not the same marketing than the government, right? So they can analyze all these things. And, and yes, chat GPT is very famous, very common. Have you ever used chat GPT, anybody? Well, it's here. This is ChatGPT, and you can ask any questions. So, anybody wants to ask a question to ChatGPT? For example. Ah, okay, okay, okay. This yeah. is the, the artificial intelligence. This is artificial intelligence. And I can ask any questions, and they can take me here in my. Ah, the company have this technology for the. For example, for the uh, venta de casas immobiliary, uh -huh. uh, when when you is to find to find uh, a house or or car uh, in the in the chat, uh, mm -hmm. ya no ya no responde la persona. This yeah. is a machine. This is a, a, a chat. Yeah. I mean, this is happening. This is happening very, very fast. As, as Roberto was saying, it's very aggressive, right? Very fast. They are launching lots of things. So, and the good thing, the main difference, and, and that is uh, why uh, this is something interesting is that imagine that you go to Google, right? So you Google something and you find a lot of resources. Some are good resources, some are bad resources. But here is going to tell you the best resource always all the time. I mean, we can ask anything. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Oops, it's not working. So you can ask anything. You can ask, I mean, uh, for example, in coding. No. A good example. And there you see the code of creating a software that you can create music, you can create Very, whatever. very fast. The very answer fast. is very, very fast. So that is very good. I mean, uh, you can ask anything. I mean, who creates that Johnny Walker? Oh, we can ask that one. Let me just check it out. So this is about Israel, and it's asking you, it's telling you all the story about the war in Israel, why this is mm -hmm. happening. And, and I mean, you can ask anything. Johnny Walker beverage or alcohol. There is it. It's very fast. You said whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. So that is it. Grew in popularity and it was passed down through generations of the Walker family. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you can ask anything, anything about it. I mean, in, in the History Channel, uh, there's a documentary about uh, 
is very interesting because I remember a little about him. He is the he's a farmer. Uh, he is in, in his moment. Uh, he is the prohibited of the production of the the, the alcoholic, the spiritual drinking. <laughs> But this is interesting uh, when you know all the, the origin of the, of the things. I, I need to chat GPT for for wherever exam in my life. Actually, the, it's forbidden in schools in the, in the United States because it gives you the, the answers in that one. In my, for example, I right hear I enter uh, the question that I enter is how can I create whiskey? And here, I mean, it's the recipe. You can just go in and do it, right? Aging, whatever you want to do. I mean, whatever you want to learn. I mean. You can ask anything. Right? And there are there are some things that, I mean, uh, you know, for example, in, in Hollywood, they are using this to create scripts for movies. Uh, they are using this for a lot of things, for deciding uh, about businesses, future things like that one. So it's crazy and it's very fast. As you can see, you just type something and it's going to give you the answer. Maybe one of the problems is that it's not a hundred percent accurate. So Sometimes it has some errors. So we need to be careful about the information that we check that one. So, uh, but it is very fast, it's very convenient. And one thing that we have to do is to learn new technologies, right? Because they are coming and we need to know. We need to know everything that is happening. So we are able to, to use them for our work or for many other things. So very interesting. And there are many other technologies that are coming in the future so let's see what happens i i wish i can see the flying cars that is one of my dreams <laughs> yeah. but we never know right maybe i'm going to i'm going to see the uh los chorros new highway that is another dream that i have <laughs> <laughs> interesting yeah. It's, it's crazy right the world in the future i believe uh, answering the question that i was doing in the future, many good things are coming and maybe many other good bad things, right? Maybe new drugs, maybe new control uh, about other things. The economy and the world is is getting crazy. So, but the technology is going to be very good and we're going to have a lot of things, maybe cure for cancer or anything. Like that. Uh -huh. Sorry, in the future, don't need the viaduct. In the shore, in the shores, and we can have the fly car. Oh, we that would be a, <laughs> <laughs> a flying motorbike. It would be good for me, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe we are able to see that. I know that there are companies that they are producing that one, but it's very expensive. Um, maybe around half million dollars. So, Israel uh, with China. Through more or less uh, three weeks ago, a taxi flyer, uh, which is a type of drone, uh, made 10 travels and function very good. In my So maybe a flying taxi, right? That is good. I can, I can take a flying taxi. That will be nice. Yeah. Okay, okay. Very good. Uh, this class was very good because we were able to participate and speak about many things. Tomorrow, remember, that is the last class. We're going to do the INSAFORP survey tomorrow. So be ready with the information. Uh, most likely they send you to your email or to the WhatsApp group, or uh, to your WhatsApp, I mean, the information. Remember that we need to copy and paste some information. So if you have in the WhatsApp, 
you need to copy that into another document so you can copy only the pieces of information. So uh, remember to finish the platform, the ones that are still working on that one. Tomorrow is the very last day, okay? And uh, well, this is just for today. I'm going to check the attendance. So we can finish into that one, let's see. Okay, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here. Good. <laughs> Suffering, by the way. Ah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's a platform. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's very easy. Don't worry. You are going to finish. Um, Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Sure. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I'm here. Present. Good. Good. Ernesto Jose Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. I'm here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Monica Wendy Avalos Girón. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avides Rivera. Here, sorry. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present. Good. Silvia Present Patricia. Uh, good. Silvia Patricia Saituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Okay, also remember that for tomorrow we have a homework, right? You are going to present. You are going to make a presentation about anything that you want to present. It's free presentation, okay? Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a very good night. Rest very well. Dream in English. See you tomorrow. Great, great class teacher. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you. Hey, take care. Take okay, care. Good evening. Take care. Good night. Take care. Good evening. Hello. Hello, can you hear me?